Hey there. Today I would like to talk about a pen I have had for years. Really, this has been in my collection for a long time. In fact, I've had it for so long that I wrote my... Yes, I wrote my final exams in high school with this pen. So the pen and I go back a long way. And that's, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. I always think that gives you more of a, a bond with a specific pen. If you've had it for a long time, you, you just sort of remember the things you've, you've been through together, you've, you've done together, the places you've visited. And I always think that's nice. I'm a nostalgic bastard, but still, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I, I really think that's something that's, that's interesting about fountain pens, and because they have something special, and you have them for a long time, and then those kind of things happen. So, a long time ago, my fountain pen collection started with this. Uh, this is a Parker Vector. That's not what I'm going to talk about today. This is the old model, uh, and at some point, although it's, it's interesting in itself, yeah, it has a, a fine nib, but this is a really cheap pen. Nothing wrong with that, but at some point I decided I wanted to move up a little and get something that was a little bit more interesting. So, I got the Parker Frontier. Now, I'm not absolutely sure, but I have the feeling this specific Frontier is discontinued. I checked the uh, Parker website just now, and I was unable to find this specific model. So the Frontier is still made, but now you have one with, with gilded highlights, like the uh, clip, and you have one that is the, the body of which is uh, really um, shiny. So that's a really nice uh, mirror polish, and this pen is a bit matte. It's um, matte. Yeah, it's, it's stainless steel. It's... I'm not sure whether it's brushed, but in any case, this is this is not extremely reflective. And actually, I like that. Um, I know a lot of people don't. And it would have been nice if this would have a mirror polish, but I also like this sort of matte look. It makes it look like a, a medical instrument or something. I think that's that's kind of nice. So I'll, I'll uh, you know, cover the pen. I'll, I'll discuss what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'll show you how it writes. And that's pretty much it. So let's start with the cap. Uh, the cap, uh, the, the end of the cap has this nice little uh, uh, stainless steel round cap-like thing on there, which is actually the most reflective part of the pen. I can see myself in that. Uh, so that's, that's kind of nice. It's a uh, flat top. The, uh, the clip is uh, okay. It's pretty flexible, springy, uh, in a good way. Of course, it has the standard Parker arrow-like uh, thing going on there, uh, which is the way to recognize Parker pens, right? Uh, that was a question. Right? Yes. Uh, and then it, it, it says Parker. It has the Parker logo. It says Frontier. And on the other side, it says Made in UK. And then something I really can't read. It's something like 711. But I'm, I'm not sure what that means. If you do, let me know. The cap is a click on cap so it just clicks in place then we come to the, uh, the the grip section the nib the nib is stainless steel too so there's nothing fancy going on with gold or whatever it's just stainless steel that again has the Parker logo and I think it says yes at the back it says M it's medium so the grip, that's a very important aspect because if it's if the pen is not comfortable to hold then it won't be pleasant to write with. This is a type of rubber, I think, and that's actually nice. It is smooth, but not so smooth that your fingers will slip. And then it's slightly tapered, so if you hold this, I've always found this to be comfortable to hold. Uh, at the time I wrote with this, I didn't really post my pens, but now I tend to do. Uh, I actually tend to do so, and you can post it, no problems whatsoever. Uh, and then it's it's really comfortable to hold, but it's also pleasant to hold if you don't post it. So that's a good thing. You really have a choice there. Uh, the nib itself is okay. This is a stainless steel nib, as I said, but it's it's definitely okay. It's fairly smooth, 
um, the feed is okay you get a nice proper ink flow and, and I'll come back to that in a minute then we have this sort of very yeah, narrow little ring and the, the barrel. The barrel is a one-piece construction and I like that. So on a lot of pens like this, the, the, the vector I just showed you, uh, you will see this, this sort of end uh, cap-like thing going on. This is a, a more expensive Parker. You see that that has a, a little gold thing at the end, but this is just one you know, one piece of metal, and I like that. So this is really nicely rounded off. There are no edges, no, there's nothing. It's just one piece of metal, which may tempt some people to treat this as an eyedropper, but I would not do that because this is metal, and the ink will corrode the inside of the pen. There is no plastic in there, as far as I can see. So it's, it's. I really, really would not recommend turning this into an eyedropper. As you can see, the um, you know, the feed screws in. Uh, sorry, the um, the grip section screws in place. Uh, there's nothing fancy going on here. Uh, I see there is no converter in there. I have one right here. I only have one Parker converter, so I have to switch it around. I don't use Parker pens that much. I have to admit. So this is the standard Parker converter. I think this is the cheap one, which has just this little. Thing you pull back, uh, there's no twisting or turning there. There is also a more luxurious uh, uh, converter that actually has the twisting knob, but I, I got this. I am, as I said, I don't write with Parkers that much, so I just got this one converter. Now, as you can see, if I would have the pen, then you could see um, it fits in. Pen screwed shut again. It works fine. Of course, it also takes Parker cartridges, not just the converter. In general, I like the design of the pen. I think it looks nice, a bit industrial-like. It's uh, pleasant to hold. It has a fairly smooth nib, but it's dry. This is a dry pen, and you will probably see that when I write with it, uh, although the ink flow is okay, it can be a little dry. Now clearly that is something that will also depend on the paper you use, it will depend on the ink you use, but in this case, for the writing sample, I use Jehan Bain, which is, in my experience, a fairly wet ink, wet enough in any case, and this pen, although it's, you know, it, the flow is okay, but it's a little dry. And even though this is a medium nib, you will not get an extremely wet line. Is that a problem? Well, that depends. It depends on how wet you like your pens, right? Um, when I compare this, for instance, to, to my Visconti, which is really wet, and this is really, really dry. To me, it has never been that much of an issue. But if I've written with some other pens for quite a while and then I start to write with this one again I every time I notice that the, the ink flow is not as it's not a gusher let's put it that way so something to be aware of I know of at least one other person who has the same uh, frontier at least also has a frontier he has a fine nib and the problem is even worse there is if I understand correctly that's logical right it's a fine nib so the line is even thinner, so it, it's perhaps even drier. So if you're going to buy this pen, then you have to be prepared for that. You will not get a huge gusher of a pen. And whether that's a problem is of course up to you. It depends on you, your writing style, your paper, your ink, etc. But it's, it's a basic fact of life that this is not a very wet pen. Apart from that, as I said, I like the, uh, the the general look. I like the fact that everything here is stainless steel, so there is no gilded highlights. It's just it, it all looks like the same metal, which I think is is fairly cool. So um, that's it, pretty much. The Parker Frontier, uh, not a bad pen. I I would recommend it, but it's a bit dry. Next thing I'll do is I'll show you a writing sample, so that you get a bit of a feel of what writing with a medium nib on this pen is like and um, that's pretty much it so um, I'll see you later
Okay, writing with the Parker Frontier. So this is a medium nib. It is stainless steel. I think it's fairly smooth, uh, especially considering it's stainless steel, I think that's pretty good. Now as to flexibility, so the amount of line variation, flex, <laughs> as you can see you can get out a little bit of that. Um, It's not extremely pronounced, but you can actually get some variation. Maybe some quick writing to show you how well the feed keeps up. I'm not trying to be legible, just quick. So as you can see, the feed keeps up very well. There was no skipping here, so that's, I think, a good sign. As you can see, it puts down a fairly even amount of ink pretty quickly. So all of that is pretty good. Uh, so in fact, in all, I think this is definitely not a bad pen. So, I would say um, thank you, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.